So welcome everybody. Today is December the 12th, 2020. So that means numer numerically is 12, 12, 2020. And also today is the December gateway as well. And um, also today is the beginning of um, a new set of energy. This, this set of energies really has not has um, haven't been experienced on earth before. So this is a very special blast of new energy that's that kind of came in today, starting today. And um, actually I felt it maybe one or two days ago, um, felt the, the kind of the, like the pre, the, the, the preview of that. And then, um, and this set of energy is supposed to peak on the 21st. And it's going to stay in the peak state for a couple of days. And then it will start to um, leveled off. And it will be um, the, so it will still be, it will be with us for at least the next 30 days. So from December the 12th to January 12th, it's re January 12, 2021. <clears throat> and the uh, aim of this energy is really to elevate everyone to, um, so that we can, so the support, the energy is supporting us to, really stay at a higher vibration so we won't be able to dip as low as um, we maybe have experienced in in the last um, <laughs> probably the last year because there's been a lot of things happening the last year so anyway so let's um let's focus more on the the, the channeling and also to um, set the intention to really allow the energy to help each and every one of us to um, be within ourselves and also to, to become more centered and to reclaim and, and really get how how powerful we are and how empowered we are really, because even the energies are supporting us 120%. So without further ado, I'm just gonna lead everybody into a short meditation and then um, whenever the energy is, or whenever Priya's energy is coming in more smoothly, the, the channeling will begin. So let's start by just tuning inward. So take a deep breath in, breathing in infinite possibilities. And when you can breathe in no more, then just start to breathe out. And just let go of anything that is distracting you from being in this moment. and continue to breathe in and out according to your own rhythm where the intention is to gradually elongate your breath. And by elongating your breath, you also start to shift your body into a relaxed mode. So relax your thoughts, relax your body, and just pay attention to your breath. Just breathing in easily and effortlessly, and then breathe out. Just be in the state of just focusing on your breath. All your attention is simply on following your breath. Any thoughts that come into your mind, just simply allow them to leave.
And when you feel yourself feeling more relaxed, mentally and physically, then start to set the intention that you want to move into your heart. So you can do that by just placing your hand over your heart, or you can just imagine that you got on this energetic elevator that's taking you from your head all the way down to your heart. And when you're in your heart, simply welcome in your soul. And set the intention that you want to hear what your soul has to say to you. If the soul wants to communicate with you, and at the same time, also link up your soul with your entity, with your earth soul. And also link it up with your body as well. And also link up with your higher self. So that all parts of you is now together, being on the same page, synchronized and harmonized. And feel this column of energy that links, that is linking up your entity, your body, your soul, and your higher self. And the more you breathe in, and breathe out, the more you feel that this energy that is linking up all parts of you to become more and more congruent and harmonized. As though there truly is just one unbroken column of energy that links up all parts of you, that is going all through the center part of your body, all the way to out of your body, linking up with your higher self. And choose, choose to feel unconditional love, unconditional love for yourself. unconditional love for all parts of you, for your body, for your entity, your soul, your higher self, all the seen and unseen parts of you. Choose to really allow this unconditional love to overflow all throughout your body and allow this unconditional love to start to inform all of you, each and every one of yourself. Feel that unconditional love and as you breathe into your heart, allow your energetic heart to start to become bigger, bigger than your physical heart. Allow your energetic heart to grow to be the size of your whole body so that it is surrounding your whole body, all 360 degrees around you.
and know that even though from a certain point of view, you seem to be disconnected from your environment, but energetically, you and your environment are connected. Connected by this unconditional love that binds all of us, not just our physical body, but our energetic body. And that our energetic body includes everything that is outside of us as well. So start to breathe into your energetic heart, start to grow your energetic heart. Allow it to be as big as the room that you're in. And really feel each and every millimeter of the room you're in being filled with unconditional love that is coming out of your heart. And anything that is taking you away from this moment, as you breathe out, allow those thoughts, energy that is distracting you to leave. And now grow your energetic heart so that it is now as big as the city that you're in. and keep growing it so that it is now as big as the country that you're in. And allow your heart, your energetic heart, to become as big as all of Earth. All of Earth is now existing within your energetic heart filled with unconditional love. And it is with unconditional love that we start to understand that we are all part of one. Humans, trees, rocks, animals, fishes, birds, all creation is playing on planet Earth are simply other aspects of us, all united by this unconditional love. Do you not know that you are so much loved, so much loved, that the Creator makes sure that you're not alone. That not only are there other aspects of you that looked like you, to reassure you that you are not alone. And also the Creator made sure that there are animals around that loves you, that shares this unconditional love and is able to demonstrate that you are loved so much. The birds are there to sing to you. The trees are there. The flowers are there to show you the love of the Creator. 
and the creator is not outside of you. You are part of this creator essence. And some part of you decided to create flowers, beautiful flowers that will simply bloom from love, from love that is received in the form of sunlight and in the form of rain. And when the flowers come out and break open to show us their beauty, it is their way of showing love. of returning this love. Flowers did not bloom for any other reasons than as an expression of their innate understanding of love. The nature of love is to bloom in beauty to bloom, not just to the sense of sight, but also to the sense of smell as well. Just as human, just as human beings, we are there, our lives is really to serve one another. Even though sometimes it may not seem so. Sometimes it seems like some people are out there to torment us. But deep down, I assure you, that is not the case. Deep down, we are all here to express, to express what the creator source has put into each one of us. This unconditional love that we share with one another in the days to come, you will surely start to appreciate the companionship and that we give to one another, the service that we offer to one another. It is not service in the sense that we have to pay for it. Sometimes just being with someone else, whether physically or emotionally, or just through online interaction, just being with each other is service. You're being called upon to be of service to one another, to show up as the best possible version of who you truly are. If you want to find or discover what your purpose in life is, then look no further. Your purpose in life is to serve, to serve by being the best possible version 
of who you are in each and every moment and to emanate who you are to live who you are to the maximum to co-create with each and every one around you in each and every moment in each and every communication that is your purpose your true purpose while you're playing on Mother Earth. Sure, some people are here to become the next Mozart or the next genius inventor or the next amazing athlete. But those are simply ways that we serve one another. But the purpose is simply to be who we truly are. 100% when we are here. this new energy that is coming through is simply to support all of you to be that and support all of you to let go of what is dimming your light. You're not here to suffer. You truly are not here. to be less, to struggle. You're here to thrive. And in the coming weeks, in the coming months, remember this, more so than ever, you're all supported to thrive. to be able to feel this unconditional love from all directions, from Mother Earth and from the universe. In the past, you have been conditioned to take on identities that limits you. And this energy is really here. To allow you and encourage you to break free from all those identities. You're not any one of those. Do not think of yourself as being a man do not think of yourself as being a woman, even though you may have the body of a woman or a man, but you are a lot more than that. You are eternal source. And this energy is here to encourage you to remember that that no body, no identity is expansive enough to contain who you truly are. Who you truly are 
endless, infinite possibilities. Who you truly are is simply light and love. You are the brilliance. You are the spark of the universe. Do not allow your physical body to limit you because your physical body is never meant to limit you. It is simply a tool It is the tool to assist you in focusing your energy and focusing your creative power in this dimension. Your body is limitless, just as you are limitless. In the years to come, you will start to find out how limitless your body truly is. It is time you tell your body what it is that you want it to do. Sure, your body may resist you at first because you have been conditioned a certain way. Your body has been conditioned to function in one way and you are so boxed in and limited by what your body can do. It is time to start to talk to your body and allow your body to become more Show your body that you are ready for it to break beyond what is currently possible for the body. To know that your body is just like you. It is limitless. It is your belief and your thinking that has been limiting what you are expecting from your body. It is time to let go of all of those limitations and allow your body to truly step up to being the most fitting tool for you to experience all of your multi-dimensional aspects. To shift and morph whenever your consciousness need to shift and morph. That is the capability, the innate capabilities of your body. Do not limit yourself.
start to feel comfortable. Feel comfortable to change. Feel comfortable to push your body, to tell your body to do things that it does not know how to do right now. Because your body It's a multi-purpose tool. And when you get the main, the mindset to free your body, to be all that it can be, to support you, to experience all that you can possibly Imagine. It will start to change according to what you need it to be. Try this first. Try this. Allow your body to revert back to the vibrancy that it used to have a month ago, a year ago, Teach your body how to become young again. Because your body knows how to be eternal. It knows how to turn back the clock, so to speak. The only reason why it's not doing that yet is because you have a belief that it cannot be done. You have a belief that you have to look a certain way when you are a certain age. You have this fear that, oh, when I grow old, I'm going to start to have lines, more and more lines on my face. You expect them. So your body created them for you. It is time to let go of those beliefs and truly see see that your body does not need to gain extra lines in fact it may start to have fewer lines
And that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning of what you can do. When you start to focus and discipline your mind. To think beyond what it is that you see outside of you. That is just the beginning. Your body can actually be a lot more powerful. When your thoughts become congruent, when your energy field is no longer leaking, when you start to hold together your energy and stop giving away your power, stop giving away your energy to things that really don't matter, does not contribute to your life or to the human collective. When you simply focus more of your energy, you'll be able to feel different and other people would be able to feel how you hold your energy and you don't even have to say a word you already feel different you already stick out just by you being able to hold that energy in, to focus more of your innate light. People, environment, animals, even plants, they would be able to sense different your energy is, how much more vibrant and full of love, unconditional love that you are emanating. When you start to walk in grace, And live your life expecting grace, expecting the universe to conspire to support you. To open the door for you simply by you focusing on an open door. Your mind truly is a magnificent engine, so powerful. If only you know how to use it properly. Let go of distractions, focus. Notice that what you focus on
the universe will pick up as well. And it will start to arrange everything to allow you to experience what it is that you focus on. And that is the innate ability of every human being. It's not just for the special few. It's everyone has this. Everyone has this ability. If only we know how to focus. We have been the master of being distractions, of being distracted by so many different things, by what's going on outside of us, by what other people may think of us. We give away our power. Not only that, we beg other people to take away this power because we don't know how to use it for ourselves. It is time to start to take back What has been yours all along? And your power, your power of focus. Your power of being authentic. your power of being who you truly are. No matter who is looking, no matter who is outside, no matter what they are saying, know that you are the one that's creating each and every moment. That goes before you. The power has always been yours all along. You simply take it back. You simply take it back by not giving it away in the first place. Because it has always been yours all along. Feel that congruence within yourself. When you can feel that congruence, that alignment all throughout yourself, then remember that feeling. And walk 
throughout your life. Using that feeling as your standard. That's how you should feel like it all the time. Not just when you're meditating, not just when you are quiet and by yourself, but no matter what you do, where you are, feel yourself completely congruent. Completely being yourself a 100%. Shining your light out. And feel the universe. being sculpted and changed to fit what you desire. And that is what you're learning to do in the weeks and the months to come. And this energy is going to help you Become more familiar with who you truly are. What a beautiful energy. What a beautiful human being. What a beautiful spirit and soul. How much you are loved. By all of creation. Each time you see a tree, know that that tree exists for you, for all of you. Next time you see a bird singing, flying around, displaying in front of you. Know that that bird is doing that for you, for all of you. The rain rains for you. The sun shines for you as well. For all of you. To feel that power within yourself, that spark of eternal light that cannot be extinguished. It is in there. It is yours to use, to wield, to grow. One day your light will be so brilliant that you will become as brilliant as the sun. is the motto. The same brilliance of the sun exists within you. Right now, 
You're not allowing that brilliance to shine forth, to be noticed yet. You're slowly learning how to be that brilliant spark of light. So each time you see the sun, remember that is your future self. That that spark of brilliance in you is going to shine as bright as that. And your purpose is to learn how to shine that brightly and to let go of any thinking and beliefs that that can't be true. I don't have that much light within me, but you do. The sun is there to remind you that which is outside of you is also within you. You are all that. And don't let anyone convince you otherwise. And this is all we want you to remind you. That that which is outside of you is also within you. That brilliant star, the sun is within you. When you allow your inner brilliance to shine out, people will behold you as though they are looking at the sun. It is time you allow yourself to shine so brightly. that no matter how far away you will be noticed, you will be seen, you will be felt. And that is who you truly are, each and every one of you. Eternal flame. It is time to remember how to shine forth your light. And we love you. And we truly cannot wait to witness your brilliance. And that is why we do what we do to support you because we see that brilliance in you. We see the eternal flame within you. We love you. Thank you for allowing us to remind you again. 
O oh, brilliant ones, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>